Hello, internets. It is Vashti once again with a way, way overdue status. Um, yeah, weekly, more like monthly. I'm all right. Um, I want to use this video to basically quickly document where I am at with this stage of progression for basically it's the start of the new year let's see where I'm at so um, starting with the feet I can't really wiggle my toes anymore at all um, it's the kind of where I can feel myself trying but if you look at my feet there's no change um, I can still move my ankles I can still bend my knees I can still lift my legs. Um, there is less and less strength in them now. It's um, walking around is less of using my legs to carry me and more like balancing myself on stilts made out of meat and hoping I don't fall over. Um, isn't that a pleasant image? Um, there's been a few falls, um, for no freaking reason, a couple of times. Um, so, from there, uh, abdominal cramps sometimes still happen. Um, it's just like a horrible, horrible stitch in your side, and then it goes away. It's a lot like the cramps that were happening in my calves and my thighs, but those are mostly gone because, well, there's not much muscle left to cramp. Eee! Um, my breathing is fine. Perfect. I always get really high scores on that. I have my next clinic appointment in February, so I will have definite evidence of it being just fine then. Um, even though I am not sleeping with the CPAP machine and doing the breath stacking exercises as often as I should. I think in the next one I will demonstrate what breath stacking is so you can sympathize with me how fucking horrible it is. It's like reverse drowning. It's hard. And I'm supposed to do this every day for the rest of my life so you know sometimes I just don't. Even though I'm screwing myself over in the future and I know it. Yay! Um, okay, where was I? <laughs> um, sometimes I get cramps, like, here, if I am, if I have my head turned and I yawn, which is really, really weird. Um, arms, not really cramping that much. My hands don't cramp as much as they used to. Um, but I have definitely lost some strength and dexterity, mostly in my right hand, because, um, yeah, they have you do this, and I could still do this pretty good. And this one, not so much. I can't snap my fingers anymore, but I still can on this hand. Um, and sometimes when my hands lock, they just, like, do this weird claw thing, and you really want to just bend them back and hold them there, but I was told don't do that because then you'll get little claw hands and like that's the worst thing that's going to happen to you. I don't know, but don't exacerbate the situation by making little claw hands. <laughs> um, speech obviously is still fine. Um, swallowing, everything's good. Although, now that I've said that, I have to cough. Hang on. <coughs> because, yeah, that was going to happen. Um, everything's good except, yeah. Oh, I got Botox in my face! I should tell you about that, too. Um, that's the general progression of where things are. Still walking, though... I'm, I'm pretty sure that I'm going to be in a wheelchair by the end of the year. Um, I'll show you why. 
<coughs> so when I get up out of a chair, it's no longer just getting up out of a chair. I have to lean and then brace myself. Huh. Wasn't that refreshing? Sit down. Okay. Um, I have amused many people with my propensity to talk to myself or specifically address my body as though it were a separate entity. Um, I kind of feel more and more that that's becoming the case. It's no longer under my control, but like when I'm trying to get into somebody's car and my leg doesn't quite lift enough to get in, I'll be like, come on! And they're looking at me like I'm crazy. Um, same thing, yesterday I was cleaning out my fridge and um, If I cared, I would edit all of that coughing out, but I don't, so you're just going to have to deal with it. Sunglasses descend. Um, <clears throat> cleaning out the fridge. Yeah. Shut up. My cats are super needy tonight. I don't know why. I've had to restart this video three times because that guy. Anyway, cleaning out the fridge, and I'm kind of... I find that I can't just bend over to pick stuff up anymore. I have to, like, <laughs> balance against the wall with my head for stability and then reach over and pick up the thing and then just kind of push myself back up off the wall. Hello. Say goodbye, Parm. Go sit in your bed. I paid money for that bed right there so you could sit in it. Choke on it. Um. Cleaning out the fridge. Why is this so hard to just tell you? Cleaning out the fridge, and I was I pulled something out of the fridge, and I felt myself start to rock backwards, and I knew it was gonna fall, and I'm just kind of sort of grasping at anything to prevent the fall, and I am yelling at the top of my lungs, no 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 no, and then I fall on my butt. It didn't hurt at all, but yeah, I regularly bark out commands to my own body. Um, usually it's just, come on, or get in there! Um, again, like it is an alien entity, because it kind of is becoming one. It no longer does what I say. Um, yeah. It's dumb. It's really dumb. Anyway, Botox. Botox. Um, unrelated to ALS, but still neurological. Um, chronic headaches, they decided that they wanted to try this one last thing since I've tried every medication in the world, and the one that worked was killing people, and uh, I had an MRI which showed an aneurysm that went away when they actually went into my brain to fix it. So yeah, I've, I've been I've been through the ringer for headache. Um, Botox was not something I'd ever heard of before for this and uh, we got approval and so what that entailed was a tiny little needle injected into my head like 20 different times. Um, it was like one here, 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 and then same sides over here, and then four in my temple, and then four in the back of my neck. Normally, they would have done some in the shoulder area, but since I have ALS, I'm prone to weakness in that area anyway, and she didn't want to make that worse, so we didn't do it. Um, it sucks, by the way getting those injections. It's like, she has this little numbing spray, but it's just really cold, and she doesn't wait for it to actually do anything, it's just, and you're just like, oh god, that sucked! It's like getting the lidocaine at the dentist, where you feel the pinch of the needle, and then you feel just this 
pressure of liquid going where it is not supposed to go. Um, it was not unbearable. Obviously, I don't have problems with the um, needles, but it was not pleasant by any stretch. Uh, luckily, I only have to do that every three months if this works. So far, it seems to be. Um, I haven't you know, there was a really intense headache that day. There were a couple of other headaches. But the day-to-day -day headaches that plagued me, they seem to have simmered down. They're still there, but fewer and less intense. So I think it's working. And the other awesome thing the Botox did for me is, um, since it paralyzed my face right here, I have the most awesome bitch arch. I don't even have to try. I'm just a bitch now. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> that's the haps. I have babbled for 11 minutes when I try to keep it to five, but I knew this one was going to be long. Um, as usual, darlings, if you have any questions, let me know. If you have anything you'd like me to talk about, let me know. Otherwise, I'm just going to babble about what I feel like. Because it's my blog. So, suck it. Right, Parm? Yeah. Say, say, say hello. Hello. Oh, 22 year old guy. Alright, I got nothing more to say. So, we're going to sign off. So, there.